All right, so basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a quick um, backstage mystery bundle unboxing from fanatical.com, which is something that uh, Dave had actually talked about and uh, definitely promoted in his uh, section of the previous QWERTYCast episode, episode 27. And then after that, we're going to do some Rocket League training and kind of getting ourselves prepped up for the upcoming Diet League gauntlet. So I'm going to start with fanatical.com, so just kind of a a refresher. kind of trying to remember everything that Dave had mentioned, but basically the important uh, parts about this was that they are 100% true keys. They have partnerships with the developers directly. This is not a gray market, and he wanted to stress that thoroughly. And uh, it's definitely something that we at QWERTYCAST appreciate because we're all four indie developers getting a fair cut. So this is definitely a website that we want you guys to kind of check out. Um, There's all kinds of deals, and something that they do uh, frequently is they have this mystery bundle. And uh, the way this usually works is they kind of set it up as a specific price point um, and they have kind of different tiers. And if you were to go and max it out, you'll get um, 10 keys for the bundle. And they mentioned specifically in this bundle that it's a huge array of uh, great Steam games, anywhere from publishing companies like Deep Silver and Square Enix, all the way down to indie PC titles, which is what we're all about. So I actually have a pack of 20 plus a spring sale freebie that was given to me. Um, And we're going to go through and basically we're going to reveal the key. It's going to tell us the name of the game. We're going to come over to Steam. We're going to view their store page. And then we're going to add their price to the handy dandy Excel calculator here, um, which is going to tell us a total for all of the games. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. I feel that. Set that up because I didn't do that yet. Excel is my love language, says KBFYI. <laughs> also, gift us, gifted us uh, five subs in the stream to everyone oh, watching. So thank very you. nice. Thank you very much. Such a sweatheart. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head back here. With a drum roll, we'll get ourselves started. <laughs> With Backstage Mystery Game number one, we have Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Title mm-hmm. alone, fast. <laughs> That's Wait, all. can you throw up a Discord stream for me? I realize I'm on a delay. Ah, okay. Look at that. The magic. There we go. BTS. There it is. So, all right. Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Interesting. See, so, important to put in here is that it is currently listed as $12.99. Ooh. This is an indie game uh, because it is developed and published by Datalik Entertainment. Mm. I got a little bit of a preview going on over here. Uh, definitely an interesting art style. Does this look like something you guys would play? Well, it looks like you got a little post-apocalyptic. What do they say? From the creators of the award-winning The Whispered World and mm. What's that one? Uh, Deponia, which actually I do know that game title. Oh, um, so this looks like it's like a um, a click and uh, what do they call those? A point and click. Yeah, yeah, a little point and click adventure. Yeah, very nice. Cute. Awesome. Well, that's a good start. Um, I should also point out that the entirety of this bundle uh, for anybody who's interested in uh, looking and doing the same thing that we uh, have set up here, it's thirteen ninety eight. Mm-hmm. So uh, just in the first title alone, we've managed to recoup everything but a dollar. Mm. hell yeah that is pretty incredible and we're what you said how many more do you have uh 19 plus one so (laughs) here we go reveal key number two stairs oh stairs again i think yeah we did have this in the last bundle i think that is one thing to keep in mind if you do get multiples of the bundles um basically there is an opportunity for duplicates most likely what I'll end up doing is I'll um, be jotting down all of the additional keys that I have accrued. And at some point, maybe we'll do a giveaway of some kind. Great yeah, idea. yeah, we have to add this to, uh, I think Cam still gets Humble Bundles and just kind of saves them for game giveaways. Mm-hmm. And I've even been approached by other friends who have like bundles of games. Like, hey, do you, cause could CordyCast use this? I'm like, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then we can give it away. The stairs definitely is um, a psychological horror game. You can kind of tell by the moodiness of the video that we're we're looking at. Um, kind of jump person. jump ahead. Yeah, definitely a little first person kind of feel to it. Let's so, see. What else has Greylight Entertainment done? I'm not entirely sure. We could take a quick look at it. 
Great. So looks like they actually only have two games listed on the Steam market. Uh, one is a uh, DTG horror pack, and the other one is Stairs. Um, or Stairs, though. It's very possible. It looks like their other one is just a pack of multiple horror games. Do you think it's um? Do you think it's good or bad to have your uh, stream keys um visual like? Probably a good idea not to do that. <laughs> <Good point. laughs> uh, 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 yeah, somebody just like noted that. <laughs> like, hey, we see your keys. <laughs> That's a good point. Let's pull that off to the side. Or uh, keep it like yeah. this. There, <laughs> yeah, you go. A <laughs> there we go. Yeah. You can oh, wait, wait. hang on. Let me see if I can. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> see, thinking with our heads here at Query Cast. Thinking there we with go. All right. Much better stream. Thank you for uh, the heads up there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Moving on was. to tier three. Showtime 2073. 2073. Implying. three HBO has gone under. The only thing left <laughs> is Showtime. All right. <laughs> this looks like uh, I'm getting like a serious Sam kind of vibe from just the initial. Uh... Mm, definitely. Ooh, we got some music too. Ooh, the VP, VIP badge. Let me see if I make sure that the show's yeah. got some audio so you guys can hear it too. Oh, and we also got some finger guns. If you can, do you have any chance you could turn on your camera and somebody? <laughs> the crowd demands it. The crowd demands some guns. Pew pew. Hang on one second. I think I missed that. What was that about the camera? <laughs> um, <laughs> we got, we got KBFYI paid. He paid good money to see some finger guns. Oh, all right. I guess we're going to have to do it. Then, yeah. Right? Mm hmm. Let's figure out how to do that. I think I can just I can cheese it. Hang on, yeah, I'm gonna cheese, cheese the it. Heck out of it. <laughs> give it that Gouda. Give me a second. You ready? We're gonna use Discord, and it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. Oh man, give me the All finger. Right. <laughs> Let's see here. Bring myself over here. Oh, this one's for you, KBFYI. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed all that good finger gun content. <laughs> God, so, like, we just need like now it's just a stream of finger guns. <laughs> all right, so uh, Showtime twenty seventy three, looking like a uh, post apocalyptic shooter. Very nice. Let's uh, let's keep this rolling forward. Runner three. Hmm. Single barrel finger guns. What is there, is there more than a single barrel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. When you have like the middle and the pointer. Yeah. Uh, okay. We need we needed to do the full like uh, you know desert the evil whole thing. <laughs> Runner three. Okay. So this is a side scroller, definitely arcade kind of feel. Let me make sure that we are updating. So that last one was nine nine. This one is look at look at this one. Oh yeah. Bam. Commander Ooh, video. I'm, okay, I'm getting kind of like, um, uh, what's the game that we were playing for a little while now? Um, the one that's like Wipeout. Um, oh, uh, do, do, do. wait, the game we've been playing. Oh, you mean Fall Guys? You guys, it's got like a Fall Guys like uh, art yeah. style kind of feel to it. Wait, but this is Bit Trip Runner. Uh, it, yeah, Bit Trip Runner, and Runner Two shit. is back and better than ever. Wow, hey, it's like a yeah. rhythm music. Yeah, this is a. I know that Bit Trip Runner itself. It's a really um all like guys vibe famous yep. game, uh, indie game. Just because of like, I don't know. I mean, obviously three three games in, they're, they're pretty <laughs> popular. Make yeah, great work. find. Yeah, this is fantastic. And we're That's look, awesome. we've only revealed four so far. Yeah, That's, I would definitely uh, play Bit Trip. I think that kind of takes something from like it's nonstop. But you know, Crash Bandicoot games used to be like that. Mm. You know, where you just like. Yeah, well, a nonstop platformer. I miss that. Yeah. 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 I'm definitely probably going to take that key myself and trust it out. Nice. Backstage mystery game. I don't. This is different. Oh, oh you know what? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's this one up here. Spirits <laughs> of a Tropos Legacy. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> We've got a lot of these backstage mystery games. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, this area fugue, I got you that VIP badge. Ooh. All right. So you'll get a, a little thing. Okay, Spirits of Metropolis Legacy Edition. Oh. Coming in at a hot $3.99. All right. Looks like um, just from the initial image, it's kind of like a brick breaker feel. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, ooh, it's got like a color mechanic. It's sort of, it reminds me of Bejeweled, but more advanced. Okay. Man. Blast it. Oh, yeah. Yep. There you go. It's a match three genre. And my friend had the audacity to tell me that Bejeweled and like Peggle are mom games. <laughs> and I had, I wanted to like, excuse throw me. Out the window, Peggle? The Peggle yeah. is a fantastic game Thank that I think you. everyone should play. Yeah. Thank Peggle's, you. Peggle's dope. Peggle's amazing. And like maybe Snood, but like Snood, you guys remember Snood? <laughs> <laughs> KBFYI says those games are classic. For sure. <laughs> For sure. 120 levels. Wow. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next backstage mystery game, which is not a title of a game as we're now ready. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second. I, I heard you talking about that, but I didn't follow it. <laughs> Holy crap. Ooh. Ooh I have actually fun. seen this. Yeah. Um, very positive reviews with over 1,281. Um, bringing up. 14.99 here um <clears throat> i like the art yeah. style i've i've seen this one so um this is actually something that i'm pretty sure i had put on my wish list at one point um so for sure gonna have to test this out at some point maybe we'll even stream it um love the art style love the combat system um just from my initial looks at it it's a fantastic looking game mm -hmm. so i'm sure uh, i'm sure i'll have fun with it and we can all kind of participate question for you yeah good is this your biggest wish list on a platform, or do you have a, d a different platform with more wish list games? Because I'm like, not in like a calling out sort of way. I'm surprised you only have eight in your wish list. Yeah, so I know that I kind of like move in and out. So I think eight is probably the lowest that's ever been. It's been a little while uh, since I've actually updated this. I think what ended up happening was, you know, those discovery systems that Steam has. Um, mm -hmm. I think they kind of like, for me, they killed my like um drive towards building my wish list because i can just like kind of click through those and see what's interesting um oh, okay i like that but so, uh like browsing. yeah but, yeah this is definitely so i used to have like 30 or 40 games on the list i think i went through and like cleared it out at one point mm -hmm. um but i'll have to go back in and and uh and kind of rebuild it thanks for calling that out yeah just uh making me feel garbage <laughs> on my, my puny my puny Only eight, eight game games list. <laughs> and at the same time, I've probably had the same 20 games on my wish since, like, 2011. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to have to go through your list and start making Exactly. Just make but, uh, <laughs> wanted to point out, this is also an indie game, so not only do I really like it, but perfectly in line with our, uh... Mm, dire Wolf? Dire... Yeah. Oh, dire Wolf. Dire Wolf. Dire Wolf. Very nice. Oh, uh, KB have why I said it looks like the Redwall novels. That's hilarious. It actually really Ooh. does. I mm -hmm. loved that series when I was younger. Those are getting an adaption. Are they really? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They no got... way. Uh -huh. You heard yeah, it here first, got, um... folks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Adaption. Oh, I think it's Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. No is way. Redwall books into movies. TV oh, wow. Series. All right, Kyle, you and me, we're going to do a watch party. All right. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Whoa. Holy shit, it's from Patrick McHale. I don't know if you Whoa. guys know Over the Garden Wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. It's Very nice. Oh, that's, that's sick. It. Cool. All right, we got 14 more. Let's do this. <clears throat> Chris Sawyer's Locomotion. Okay. Ooh, hmm. I'm getting like a, a TTD, like Sim City kind of feel. It's published by Atari. Hmm. So this is. From Chris Sawyer. Oh, Roller oh. Coaster Tycoon's creator. Oh, nice. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. That one's going. So up. if you if you hit Chris Sawyer on there, I wonder if it goes to like his group page. No, interesting. interesting. Oh, you know what? It oh. may be because of the fact that I'm um, searching specifically. Oh, you have mm. some filters. Very possibly. So yeah. Let's just That's let's cool just see though. real quick if I do. If I can spell today. Mm hmm. So here we go. So, yeah. and that, interestingly enough, it actually added Open TTD when I first referenced to this. I don't think that has anything to do with Chris Sawyer, but you know, 
similar game. Chris Sawyer esque. What the TTD stand for? Uh, good question. Let's see. <laughs> this is completely irrelevant to this, but I'm not sure. Uh, tra- I think it's Transportation uh, Tycoon Deluxe. Yeah. Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Very nice. Hmm. All right. Sawyer. Next game. Now you have trains. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen planes. You've seen all of them. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen Project Cars. <laughs> oh, okay. So actually, this is what I've been very excited about. And I did actually pick this up in the previous bundle set. So something that we'll have to talk about because I can give away this key and people can play with me. But um, very important here is look at this. So this is the Game of the Year Edition bundle. Holy shit. Wow. This is everything Holy that comes shit. with it. Okay. And just to bring that back up, this Ooh. is what we're talking about. So let's add that to the list. Damn. Wow. And so I was extremely excited about this because I've actually, I didn't have this one on my physical wish list, but I did have this in my mental wish list. And the reason being is because it is VR compatible. And so I'm going to be for oh sure within God. the next couple of weeks testing this out on the Oculus Quest 2. So uh, awesome. now I have two keys. So we're going to have to, I'm going to have to find a buddy who's interested in playing uh vr with me and we'll do it yeah dude oh my sick gosh. yeah let me uh i might as well try it out i do have vr and i have a vr laptop all right andres <laughs> with the key i'll make sure to send that over to you <laughs> uh agon the lost sword of toledo hmm. let's More see like libido nice <laughs> oh oh <laughs> So this one, it's given me like um, one of those like adventure novel kind of feels. Yeah. Let's see. Private Moon Studios. Definitely. Like uh-huh. was, we got like some PS2 esque uh, graphics here. Definitely. Uh, here we go. It's uh, 2008. We're, we're going back a few Classic. years. Still images mixed with uh, slightly grainy uh, three dimensional cinematics. I'm this one's at the other games. From Microids. Okay. Ooh, okay. You know what this reminds me of? Have any of you guys played um, <laughs> Mist or um, uh, Chin? Mm. Any games like that? Mm. It's like, uh, it's it's mimicking the point-and-click-esque style gameplay, but um, s- sets it in a three-dimensional where you kind of, like, step forward in the way that you do, like, Google oh. Maps when you're doing Street View. Huh. Um, so you kind of like walk through it's it's mixing that whole like old might and magic where you like move one square at a time forward, but you're doing the first person perspective. It mixes that with a point and click. So these yeah, types of games like used my to least favorite part about Google Maps. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the game. <laughs> <laughs> these games usually are actually really, really interesting. It's just that if you are not in the right mindset for it, if this isn't something that you actually are purposefully pursuing you are going to get bored very quickly hmm. he has two graphics stole my virginity yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i love that Ooh, four user reviews <laughs> yeah so it's definitely not very frequently played you know what it is it's because miss is definitely like the triple a title for this style gameplay mm-hmm. so everything else kind of probably falls to the wayside so you know what i'll, I'll play it i'll give him another review not sure what that's going to be but we'll find out See. Sir, you are being hunted. We should oh. all know this game. Very nice. So this game, when it was first like trailered, I was fascinated with, and uh, so I actually already own this game. Um, mm. So we'll definitely add this to the list of keys to give away. Um, Wait, but so you you knew this? I mean, I've never heard of this game. It looks really cool. So there's like. Um, it's it's a sandbox self experience as described <laughs> by themselves. Um, the idea is that there's like AI that's like constantly trying to find you, and so you have to get around them and escape. Uh, but the AI is extremely intelligent and very unforgiving. Um, so it's a it's a really fun uh, experience. Definitely, it was unique to me at the time. Um, but I would I would highly recommend that everybody checks this out. And it is an indie game, so. In line, in line with what we do here. All right, that is the first set of 10 completed. Let's move on to the next. Chris Sawyer's Locomotion. So we've actually already seen that. So so you've seen planes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. 
system crash. If this is what I think it is, yeah. It literally crashes your computer. <laughs> oh, actually, I should, <laughs> Try should, it should, now. <laughs> we should add, so even though we already had it, let's see, where, where do we have that before? That it was just, like launches your seven. task manager for you and ends all tasks. Copy that back <laughs> here. And system crash 49. So let's take a look at system crash. Ooh, is this like uh no story driven when corporations cyberpunk. run the world. Yeah, it's it's definitely got like a 1984 cyberpunk. It's uh, it actually references Neuromancer, which I think that's the first time I've mm. seen a game uh description reference that specifically. I consider this book to be the grandfather of uh the like cyberpunk um that we see and and hear today. Mm-hmm. Is that the uh, is that book written by i know there's like a guy's name that's thrown around when we talk about the grandfather of cyberpunk um who like wrote the book on that one was uh gibson i think yes um and it's escaping me right now his first name with what let's let's look look it up up. yeah do that for me uh on the stream oh i think william william gibson william gibson There there we go yeah so, like, uh, if you've ever seen the Matrix movies, um, I don't know if they've ever directly stated it, but I feel like the vast majority of the concepts in that um, story was directly peeled from Neuromancer. Mm-hmm. But you, you'll see a lot of, like, um, the themes that we get in Cyberpunk today can all be kind of traced back to here. And I'm sure there's even f- that this is derivative of something, but that's as far back as my knowledge goes um inspired blade runner i'd be curious to see which one came first because blade runner was um a philip k dick except i think um, yeah um so i don't know which one came first um but yeah philip k dick himself is also responsible for a large cyber yeah. minority reports and mm-hmm. uh yeah it was all from his book uh android's dream of electric sheep which was fantastic all right so system crash kind of like it looks like it's a story with uh Death card building? game yeah it looks like a little bit of a card game hmm. interesting well we'll keep moving huh. <laughs> yeah the show must go on so far i'm actually pretty pleased with it yeah that was only tier two drive 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 right this was from 2016 coming in at 9.99 wow we're Already at 168. Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. Okay, so this has got like um wipeout the driving game, if you guys are familiar with that. Mm-hmm. Uh kind of like the old um pole position, but updated with new 3D graphics. Um looks like it's tricks. Tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I like how everything's got <laughs> exclamation points after it. <laughs> this game different different modes. <laughs> modes. Come on, he's in Depeche Mode. <laughs> you know, the only one I haven't seen yet is Drive, and that's what yeah. this game's no, all about. It's modes, safety, no drive. Tracks at the on same time. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ten reviews, and it's mixed. That's amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> Switch. You know what? Feature them here. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get some more gamers. They'll yeah, get some uh, love. Yeah, go go out and get a drive, drive, drive. If you like drive, it's three times that. Yeah, triple the drive. <laughs> Moving on to the next key, we've got Fallen, which I think actually this also was uh, our reviews review. mixed. <laughs> <laughs> Mix, mixed, mixed, mixed. <laughs> Fallen. I can oh, even yeah. find it. Was because was this in the first one? I think familiar. so. Yeah, I think this was in the first one. And I remember this being difficult to find. So what I think I did was... Oh, you know what? There it is. So yeah, I had actually added the key and then went to it. So um, <clears throat> it says, The story of a father who's in search of a son who has fallen in a cave by BT Studios. Just released about five years ago. Only 17 people reviewed it, but it did get a mostly positive review. Mm-hmm. It's... Um, Platformer, it kind of reminds me of Limbo. Um, yeah. I think yeah. that, that uh, I'm not sure which one came first, but I would imagine that um, it the non huge success that this game saw may be directly related to that. Yeah, uh, yeah, immediate inspiration could be Limbo. <laughs> I want to say Limbo was 2012. I'm gonna look it up though. Yeah, I think that was a while back. Limbo, our reviews, 
Oh, 2010. Okay, so Limbo came out way before. Yeah. And Limbo, no offense, Fallen. Better game, <laughs> most likely. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But no, I mean, it still looks like it'd be fun. Yeah, good game to emulate. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right. Lovely Planet Arcade. Hmm. Lovely. Lovely. Ooh, Isn't Ooh she... I like the this art style. Cool. Yeah. Quick right, tequila. Hey, Quick tequila though. is something that I think uh, we could all use right now. Yeah. <laughs> Quick tequila. Okay. Oh, okay. this looks cute. Yeah, that was like a, it's like a bullet hell, but first person. He's got like some matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Mostly positive, sixty-eight reviews. I like that. Let's see. The, uh, I played the wow. original Lovely Planet for over a hundred hours, and this game <laughs> feels inferior in every way. Well, you know oh, what, man. guy? I don't <laughs> agree. I'm looking at this right here, and I think that it is superior in every. I mean, Tiny Build gave it a chance. Yeah. Right? That, that means 69. Noise. If they spend 100 hours, but there's 100 levels, does that mean they're just really bad at the game? No, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> every level took one minute, and then they spent uh, 98 hours just, you know, screwing around and drinking tequila. <laughs> Quick tequila. <laughs> All right. Shell Blast. Legacy. Ooh. Price point is not inspiring, but we will see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What is this about? Described as a Mind cross sweeper. between Minesweeper and Big <laughs> well, I'm I'm sold. Sold oh already. God. Look at this. Oh, you look know, at it. They look should add it. a they should add a rhythm section to this game. You know, <laughs> golden. Look at this. Oh man. I don't even know. <laughs> the goal to say legacy yeah because we all know that <laughs> shell blast modern edition is mm. just garbage compared to the legacy edition people requested it by far yeah. the most requested thing from vertigo gaming yeah i mean three whole people went out of their way to review this game all right we need to be respectful of them. played the original there you go oh, so were you yeah. reading it i played the first yeah. one I played the <laughs> on Yo-Yo Games. The nanogram Minesweeper Hybrid from... Okay. 2007. All right. You Those guys are positive remember that things. 2007 division of the Shell Blast community? That right? Oh, man. Insane. It was a dark time. It had to be there. It had dark, to be there. Rocked, dark. Rocked those 4chan servers. Oh. <laughs> Just Cause 2! Oh, wow. Look at that. If you liked Just Cause 1, Just Cause 3, and Just Cause 17... Just Cause 2 is pretty much the exact same game, just a different <laughs> setting and different types of racism. It's a good oh, game. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know anything about Just Cause. <laughs> I think Just Cause 2 suffers from the similar fate as like the Far Cry series, where it's always like depicting like different areas um, uh, that are like under some yeah. type of like yeah. civil war. Um, I actually oh, look, look, we have brown people. They're just all <laughs> fighting. Yeah, exactly. All the time. Um, <laughs> I played Just Cause 2. I think I have this actually on the PlayStation. I mean, it's it's a great sandbox game for sure. It's, you know, destructible aspects of the environment. Um, the main character can literally just, like, fly around and use a grappling hook to generate physics momentum and pull himself up a mountain. It's crazy. Um, fun game. And we need to just double check here so that we get our numbers right. I don't agree with this price point. <laughs> But that's fine. too high or too low. Too high. I mean, <laughs> like here, let's just let's just see. So so this game probably probably more. Let's see. Are they still selling for full price? Uh, they don't even have that's a price priceless. listed. I want to. Yeah. Okay, so they're still paying. Uh, well, wait. Hold. Ah. Uh, hmm. That's weird. It's probably because I do. I have it. I don't. I'm not sure why they're not showing a price point for it, but we have diversity. All the enemies are either light, <laughs> light, dark, dark with gender variant. It's about accurate for just going. <laughs> uh, not to knock the game. The game is, you know, it's in, it's, I consider it like the Michael Bay summer movie flick. Like if you've got $15 <laughs> and you want to sit in the corner of a theater and just turn your brain off and drool a little bit, we've got the game for you. 
All right. Explosions. <laughs> Square Enix presents <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> uh, Perch. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I was not expecting this game to get sci fi, but sure. Uh, Perch here. Interesting. That's 7 uh, This looks cool. This Ooh, does actually. Oh, it's like a Rube Goldberg kind of game. Yeah. I've never played a Rube, Gold Rube Goldberg video game. I don't think. No, wait. Please. Screw you, chat. I'm taking this one. <laughs> <laughs> so simple. It's so actually, tricky. It, it looks it looks fun. Yeah, I can get so behind fun. any of like the engineering tile games where you're like uh, do you guys ever play Besieged? Hmm. Uh no. Okay. Oh wait, no. it's yes, that's the one where you like basically create trebuchets a bunch. Um yeah, I mean that was definitely something that you could go for. Um <laughs> yeah, there was like different different challenges, but you would use a series of like uh blocks to build some type of contraption in order to take out a squad of enemies yeah um i think some of the best videos where people would like build a box that opened up and then just like grabbed all the enemies brought them in and then set them on fire stuff like <laughs> that <laughs> um so this like i can get behind the engineering style games these look fun yeah yeah and with no user reviews we're gonna have be to be the first yeah, well it said no and then here's two confused steam we're gonna nice. ignore that. Damn. <laughs> We've got three more. Sorcery Part Four. Actually, the Sorcery series. If this is the Sorcery. Yes, Inkle. Here we go. Yeah, this is it. I didn't even know they had a. So I'm familiar with these games from a mobile standpoint, um, but they are very good. Uh, have you guys ever heard of the series? No. No. Okay. So um, they're all like story rpgs um they have kind of like um almost like a choose your own adventure vibe to them um but it plays like a tabletop game and it's really well put together i, I gotta say play this, the like, this map reminds me a lot of the uh in super smash bros ultimate the story mode you kind of have like this map mm. if you're doing single player and it reminds me a lot of this yeah, they should have definitely hired Inkle to make that. Probably would have been a better map. Yeah, <laughs> at Nintendo. Yeah. yeah guys, uh, guys, just Drag take a look. Take a look at this majesty. It was yeah. right there. I do I do highly recommend the Sorcery series. It's just kind of like a fun um, jump in, play a little bit, jump out. It's just uh, it's a good, good game series. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Second to last one. We've got Laser Life. 66, mostly positive. Ooh, rhythm game. Oh, I love that rhythm. The rhythm of death. Yeah, <laughs> if it's a rhythm game, we gotta get some music in here. Hang on. <laughs> okay. It's just the same thing over and over again. Bow, bow, the whole game. <laughs> oh, it's part of the Bit Trip series. Oh, what? That's oh, what it huh. said, right? I think yeah. so. From the uh, makers of the award-winning Bit That Trip. Oh, interesting. Very nice. Very nice. What is life? What is life? <laughs> is that what he's asking right now? Yeah, it's just memory. What is me Here we go. <laughs> what is Bit Trip Runner 3? On <laughs> For nine ninety nine, buy it now. <laughs> Does life end? <laughs> the mysteries of science reveal. In this rhythm music. game. <laughs> Oh, I love this. It actually it does look pretty fun. Yeah. I didn't realize that we were going to turn this into a disc session, but I want to do that from now on. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play Kerbal Space Program, <laughs> none of the features from Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> Just somewhat mediocre EDM music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Whoa, that was a was weird that dead mouse. Yeah, that was that was the Ooh, dead mouse. Wait, what was that, that was just a... a scene from Nintendogs? Yeah, that was a god dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy again. Go to heaven. Laser right. life. Despite everything, I, I would totally give that a play. Yeah. To be a human. All right. And then our final game, which is from the spring sale, and I always forgot. I miss just playing games on a browser. I'd play that on the browser. Yeah, yeah. right? So the cool part about this is that um, with the, oh. and let me uh, 
cut off the theme here in the background here. So the spring sale one, it just gives you a choice of games. Now I could go all through these, but I actually, I'm just going to do the mystery game because that's what we've been doing. Absolutely. So let's just do it. Boom. Yeah. See what we get. And I'm going to drag it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Morning star descent to dead rock. Hmm. Do you know what morning star is? No, I'm not familiar. Do you know this? Morning star uh, is just like the name, a name for, for Lucy, Mr. The devil. Okay. Okay. Crash landed Mr. on a desolate alien planet. What should have been a routine work for hire job for Powell has become a deadly mission to save the merchant vessel morning star and her crew. Huh? Join your partner squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> As you fight your way through an alien vessel. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> if there is any naming conventions in this game, like where you get to choose, I'm going to name the characters. Score. Have to. Have to. Ooh. Ooh, that looked like a nasty wound. Because yeah. all spaceships fly using the exact same steering wheel as a vehicle. Hey, yeah. <laughs> to be able to pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> Morning Star. It's like. Uh... Kind of like a dead space knockoff. Seems Very like it. Very interesting. All right. So, I think this is the same ship model Kenny is using <laughs> <laughs> for the uh, for the FTL. <laughs> oh my god! I thought you. <laughs> I thought you said S H I T, not S H I P. Oh man. All right, so um, just to give you guys kind of an overview, and we'll go through, um, I'll work with the QuerdyCast crew, any of the duplicate titles that I have, if anybody's interested, we'll post a list and uh, we'll give out some of those keys. But just to kind of point out here, so remember, um, it was only thirteen ninety eight to get yourself set up, and we saw some really fantastic titles through that entire list. Um, but the total game output for the Steam library came out to $232.37. So... Thank you, Dave, for recommending the uh, Fanatical site. Obviously, this is a 100% uh, gambling thing, so we do this for the unboxing purposes, and it's very entertaining. Uh, but if you are in you know, a lost mood and you don't know what you want to play, for a dollar you can get something random. <laughs> It'll probably give you a few hours' worth of uh, entertainment. We're doing this. So yeah, cool. no problem, no problem. So uh, did you guys have anything you wanted to uh, say about this process or the games that we got? Hmm. No, just like let us know what you get out of these bundles. I'd love to know what other games they get because you got some duplicates too. I did, and so uh, like I said, I'll definitely because um, I'm probably gonna go through this um, sometime during the week and um, find out what all of the extra keys are or any of the ones that I don't think I'll actually have time to play myself. And we'll make like a little uh, a QWERTY giveaway list. Hell yeah, yeah! It's been a minute since we've done a giveaway, so I think people would love that. Maybe all right, so we're gonna beautiful. Take a quick break. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. And when we come back, we'll be doing some Rocket League. Yeah. And if, uh, like you said in the beginning, this was mentioned in episode 27, which we are editing right now and should come out within a week. So Awesome. So, yeah. So if you guys saw this, uh, it's just a good teaser for some of the content that we talked about in that episode.